Hello everyone. Good afternoon. How's it going today? Today's a beautiful day in Michigan. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. You feeling good? I'm feeling great. All right. Cool. Cool. So today I want to talk about in, in here. I want to talk about being you and being yourself and, and playing the cards that you've been dealt. And you know, everybody's got a different life and everybody's, but we all kind of got the same things going on. You know, everybody's got problems, but we all got the same problems almost. So I want to talk about being yourself and, and focusing on the things in your life that you have control of, you know? Yeah, there's so many things that you do have control of, but you know, again, it goes back to life can change in a matter of seconds. So be prepared. Um, to deal with the consequences of your actions as well. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Okay, so I want to start off with a story um, It's called the bicycle race. Okay, it's probably it's a very common story. You, you heard the bicycle race? No, nope, but okay. Well, it's gonna be good. Enjoy right. um, So there's this guy riding a bicycle right and he's he's ripping. He's just like yeah Yeah, we're going and he sees this guy like a quarter mile ahead of him, you know and he's like, the guy's up there, he's going at his own pace, he's focusing on his own thing. But the guy on the bike in the, in the back, he's like, in his mind, he's like, ooh, I'm going to beat that guy to that corner. Right? He wants to beat him to the corner. And so he starts pedaling, he starts pedaling faster, and he's like, do, 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 do. And he's getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And finally, he passes the guy. Right? He passes the guy, and inside, he's like, yes, I won. Woohoo! I'm the champ. And then he realized that he won a race that the guy, other guy didn't even know he was competing in. And, and then when he realized after everything had gone wrong, he looked where he was and he was like, oh man, I had to take that turn back six blocks ago. And so he missed his turn. So the point of the story is by focusing on beating an, an unhealthy competition with other people. Some competition's okay, but there is unhealthy competition. And it's focusing, it's, it's, it's focusing on everybody else's talents and what everybody else is good at and what everybody else has nice stuff and not focusing on what you've been given and you miss your path. You miss the road that you were supposed to turn on. Hey, you know, that, those things happen. You know, and one thing that, uh, that I'd like to say is that a lot of people take uh, things, again, going back to taking things for granted. You know, m many, many times people build their foundation off of going to the rock bottom. J, uh, J.P. Rollins stated that his foundation was built on the essence of hitting rock bottom. Mm -hmm. He had to go to the rock bottom in order to build himself right. up. So a lot of people do that. And it's the climb out that makes you stronger. Absolutely. And and success, as we talked the other day, is is geared towards failure. You have to fail in order to succeed. Yeah, great tie. Good. All right, so I got another story. And this story is about inside here. So like basically meaning that everything inside here is is controlled it can be can be controlled okay so there's this monk right and this monk decides that he's gonna leave the monastery today and he's gonna go meditate in the water all by himself he says he's like yeah that that's where I can get away life's being a little crazy right now and I need to go get away and just kinda you know relax for a sec so he goes out on the lake he's sitting there in his boat and hours are going by right and he's just like he's at peace he's meditating he's meditating he's at perfect peace in here and then all of a sudden, while he's closing his eyes, his boat gets bumped, boom! And he's like, and he's still got his eyes closed, and then he just feels this fire burning up inside him. He's like, he's like so mad at the boat guy that hit him, you know? Like how mad would you be if you were at perfect peace and then some guy hits you with his boat? So he, he you know, he tries to control it for a second, then he's just like, ah, I can't take it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open my eyes, I'm gonna yell at this guy. And he opens his eyes, and the boat is empty. It was an empty boat, and it just traveled along the river, and the and it just happened to bump into his boat. And that's when the when he that's the moment he realized that everything is controlled within here. It's all his anger did not stem from another person because there was no person in that boat. What are you gonna be mad at a boat? <laughs> yeah, wow. You know, and, the, and and that does happen. People uh, people get upset on things that can has no control. They have no control over. And yet, um, that, they let that, it get mad. Yeah, that driving that them. Driving, man. I'm so, I get so mad sometimes when people cut me off. I'm like, are you serious? Road rage. Are you serious right now? You just pulled. It. No, but you got to keep it controlled. 
very true. You know, earlier today, today has been a, um, a great day, as Jake says, beautiful here. Beautiful. You know, it's amazing how, you know, as, as we talk, how quickly that life does change. You know, I, as we spoke last time, I, I'm in a wheelchair because of an accident that occurred, but I work in the industry of, of healthcare. And real quickly, I just received two phone calls today that people's lives have changed within a matter of the time that we got up this morning. Their lives have changed, meaning like that, their, their backs were broke or their necks were broke. And, and the, the odds of that happening are immense. I mean, think about it, how that could happen to someone. Um, and it happened so quickly. But, you know, with all that said, um, you know. But you've got to, you got to, the point is, I think that you're trying to get at, is that you got to take that and you got to play your hands that you've been dealt. Play the cards you've been dealt. You're in a Absolutely. wheelchair, you played your cards, and now you have a company that takes care of people with with injuries. The injuries, and, and you so know, and a lot of hand. people take that, and they look at the negative aspect of it, and you can do that, you know, and a lot of people do do that, but again, flipping it around and utilizing it to your advantage. So take where you're at and be thankful for what you have. Absolutely. Flip it around and make something good happen today. Make something good happen today for yourself. Mm -hmm. I got a story about a guy who made something good happen for him. So there's this guy, right? He's sitting in the park. He's a business executive, just like yourself. Okay, and you know the stresses of having a business. You got creditors and you got suppliers and people demanding stuff of you. Well, listen, this guy is in bad, bad ways. He's been his business has been declining. He owes a lot of creditor debt, and he's just like he's sitting in this park bench, right? And he's just like, man, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna get out of this, right? And this old guy comes strolling by. He's just he's just rolling by, and he's like, he says, "Hello, my friend. Hello." And the business executive is like, "Hello, how are you doing?" And he said, "What's wrong? It's such a beautiful day. You need to enjoy the day. It's smile." And uh, the business executive is like, "No, nah, well, I can't. This, this, this. My business is going down, right?" And the old man says, "You know what? You seem like a very good guy, and you seem like you need a break. So listen, I'm going to write you this check for five hundred thousand dollars." And I want you to come back here in a year, on this day, come back here to this spot and I want you to tell me how it helped you and then you can pay me back. Maybe some interest, you know. The old man, he's not dumb. He wants to get his money, but he knows that this guy has the potential. He could see the potential. Okay, so, a year goes by. Guess what this business executive does? He takes that check and he says, you know what? I'm not gonna cash this check. I'm gonna put this in my savings. And now, now that I know that I have this backing, I'm gonna ball out. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do everything that I need to do because I have this backing. I have this self confidence within me now, you know? So a whole year goes by and he, he gets his business back, he's successful, and finally he comes back to the old man the next year and he can't find the old man. And he wants to say, hey, thanks, man. Thank you so much for what you did for me. And he, instead, he sees these two ladies running around and they're like, they're like, have you seen the old man that strolls in this park? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen him before. And the old ladies were like, oh, man, he always gets out and tries to go tell people he's John D. Rockefeller. <laughs> so the guy had no money. <laughs> and the check was useless. The check was not real. But it built his confidence. Exactly. That's a exactly. great story. So it's all up in here. That's the it's point. Here. It's all in here. here. You know, the only way that you can allow... You have to give someone the keys to drive you crazy. Yes, you know, that's you true. You teach people how to be, good. to, to um, treat you. So um, there again, it's all up here in your brain. That's right. Use it. Yeah. Be positive. Be motivating. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. All right. Anything else you gotta say? You know what? Just have a great day and um, think about your consequences of your actions, because. You know what? Um, too many people get hurt, and too many people's lives change, and um, and it happens so quickly. And enjoy what you have, and be thankful that you do have what you have. Mhm. Mm That's good. All right. Way to be. All right. So play the hands that you've been dealt, not the hands that other people have been dealt. That's the point of this story. Have self confidence. Believe in yourself. You know, sometimes the things that you're afraid of are really the things that you're supposed to be doing. You're you're the things that you're capable of doing. So. Stay positive and persevere. I don't.